Hey guys, and uh, in this episode we are going to do 1020-bit, uh, 24-bit RSA uh, public and private key encryption. So guys, this is what you're going to end up with at the end of your project. A small client that uses very heavy duty encryption to encrypt text and then decrypt it back. So let's get started. So um, to start off, to save time, all I've done is added two memos, three buttons and rename and put the text into the buttons. Um, as well as if you come to the project source, I have added the lockbox, which is the component we'll be using to the search parameters. Um, because I don't want to install it. It's not the best way to do it, but it gets around it. So if we close them, the other main thing that I have done is I've gone to the lockbox website and I have copied down their example of RSA. So I've done this to save time, mainly because um, one YouTube is telling me that after two and a half minutes, everyone stops watching my videos and two, because they're getting too long. So moving right along, we're going to start off by doing um, the, we're going to start off by removing this button because we're not going to use it. I've just decided. So we're going to come down and we're going to do um, on the form, we're going to do an on show. Yep. So on show. Okay. We're not going to do an on show. We're going to do an on create because on show is not working today. Da, 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 da. So we're going to do an on create and pretty much what we're going to do is we are going to generate our RSA keys. So up here in the top of the unit I've made for you are two variables, one called public and one called private. That's where our keys are going to be stored. So we need to load the key off the disk if there is one. So First of all, we're going to do a, we're going to add a variable. We're going to add a variable and we're going to call it um, keys exist. We're going to call it a boolean because we're going to use it as a switch. So by default, our keys exist is going to be equal to false. Now, why are we doing this? Well, RSA works on a public and private key system. So you can, you have to generate your keys if they don't exist. So we're gonna do if file exists and we're gonna check for the simple name public.key. Missing the S. Then we want to do a ms so memory stream public dot load from file public key so whilst i'm doing this rsa um, public key and private key encryption is usually used for communication between websites or other things of that sort of infrastructure and later on in the week or maybe in next month I will be doing a tutorial on how to make a chat client within. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same with the private key. So ms private dot load. Where have I gone wrong? Oh, we missed the R out there as well. So ms private dot load from file right so what we need to do is in our first one so the public key we're gonna put our switch in which says keys exist equals true 
and we're not going to bother for the private version because we're assuming that if the public version exists the private version will exist as well and if one is missing you can just delete both of them and it will regenerate you two more so we're going to do an if not keys exist then begin and we're doing a begin because this is going to have a few stages in it so first we need to do a generate key we're going to come over to the functions i have already written and we're going to copy our generate key function and it's going to require two parameters so ms public and ms private now i've tried to name these as close to the functions i created for you so that you can follow along quite easily and so if you hover over them or go into the other unit, you can see that I named the keys, the exact the, the function, the exact same name as the variables to use. So next, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to save our public key. So we're going to have to do ms public dot save file. No, save file. And we want to use the same file path. So this is the public. So public.key and ms private dot save to file. Now this is not the best way of doing it. You should really use an, an absolute path or a resolved path, but the we're trying to do this as quickly as possible. So what I'm going to do now is um, you could open it right now and it would generate you a set of public and private keys. However, I'm going to leave this to the end so that we can get the rest of the coding out of the way and then I can just chop that bit out. So now what we need to do is we need to come to our encrypt side and we need to double click on our button. Oh God, this is gonna be like this all day. So I'm having problems with Delphi and I've been having problems with it for a few days. So we're just gonna remove all of them. Actually, no, I think we needed one of them. We needed this one. Oh, yes, remove it. Um, right so now we can click on it so we need to encrypt our text so we're going to use memo 1 as our plain text memo 2 as our encrypted text and then you can go backwards so we're going to copy our function and note that it will only want the public key not the private key and I forgot to rename this to string but yeah you could put normal text in it so we need to encrypt our key, uh, encrypt our string, so we're going to do memo one dot lines dot text to get our text. And I can't remember whether it wants it one way or the other. It wants the public key straight after, so we're going to do ms public is our second, and it's going to spit a string out. So what we need to do is memo two dot lines dot add. And it's just deleted our function. So we just come and copy that again. Jam it back in there, put these here and put that there and end it there. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna take our public key and it's gonna encrypt all the text that's in memo one and dump it into memo two. And so what we need to do is the other way around, which sounds quite simple because it is. So we're gonna do memo, one dot lines dot add and then what we want to do is we want to copy our decryption function name which is here try to make this as friendly as possible and we want our text which is already encrypted so we're going to do memo two dot lines dot text so Eagle eyed people will notice that's the exact same thing we put in last time. Well, it is. Uh, and then we want to know that we you, we want to use our private key to decrypt it. And so that's basically it. You're now going to be able to encrypt and decrypt RSA 1024-bit um, encrypted text, quite simply. So we're going to start this, and hopefully I'm going to be able to... We didn't get errors, so that was good. Right, and it's holding. So this is what we wanted, it's holding. It's generating two sets of keys. So if we come over here to our projects folder, over to debug, um, you should see that two keys will appear. And I'm gonna pause the video right now 
and pause the audio and come back when they appear because this will take two to three minutes, possibly four or five if you're running on an older machine. So as you can now see guys, the files have all moved along. And we now have one called public key and one called private key. And so our application has also popped up. So now we should be able to clear both of these and type in hello world, hit encrypt, and there is our encrypted data. Now I should be able to remove this and hit decrypt, and we get our hello world back. So there you have it guys, RSA encryption, heavy duty, strong encryption, commonly used for um, private communications or communications between websites and yourself or yourself and the bank, in a nutshell. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, you know where that like button is. If you're not subscribed, there'll be a subscribe button at the end. And if you made it this far into the video, congratulations. The source code and the links to the components I've used will be posted on my blog. Link will be in the description. And if you have made it this far, give yourself a shout out in the comment section. I will be sure to comment you back. And until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Hey guys, these are two videos you might enjoy. Here is getting Delphi for free and there is how to make a file shredder. So if you're not subscribed, the subscribe button is also here. And until next time.